back guys and happy Saturday. I am starting this vlog out a little late today. It's probably about five o'clock today. Travis and I did some running around this morning and I have been wanting to make some apple cider. So as you guys can see, I have been working on my little apple cider since we've gotten home and I said, let's make today just a cozy, homey type of vlog today. I am literally just gonna be home baking, making apple cider. I do have those scraps from the apples and they will not go to waste. I am gonna go ahead and feed the wildlife that roams through our property. I kid you not, if I could find the video, I'll go ahead and include this snippet. We had a gray fox come to our back patio. I was too scared to open the door, but I have never seen him get that close to us. So I don't know if he was like really hungry, really looking for food, but all the way in the back of our property, we have like this little fox den that we call. It's a little family that lives there. And anytime we have scraps, Travis um, and I go back there and just give them our scraps so they can eat. And anytime we have like vegetables or stuff like that, we'll put it outside. Trust me, no food goes to waste in this house. If we're not eating them, we're feeding the wildlife. So I always try to make the best out of everything so we're not being wasteful so even though there's times that i do let like some produce get a little too ripe and we can't eat it but for the most part i really really try very hard to not be as wasteful because sometimes i'll get carried away buying produce and then i can't consume it all at one time so we try our hardest to not be that wasteful but i'm so excited i know when that apple cider starts to simmer it's gonna smell so good in this house so i'm excited for that i am going to whip up some banana bread because i have some bananas that are getting a little bit on the right side so anytime my bananas do that i will always whip up some banana bread so we're going to do that today and then i am going to attempt to make this leaf garland because to hang from my little pendants that i have over the island because in about two weeks three weeks in three weeks we are gonna have a fall fest here at our home and it's just inviting our kids, their friends, a few adults, but we have such a good time together. And this will be the third fall fest that we have done. So I am so, so excited. And for the menu for our fall fest, I'm planning to do a chili bar with all the fixins, have some homemade apple cider, lots of delicious treats, chips, dips, just, all, all the works and then we're gonna have a pumpkin carving contest it was so much fun last year so we're definitely doing it again and we always have a first second and third prize winner and I'm thinking about adding some other games I'm not sure so we shall see I want to do like a apple bopping contest but I need to find a way to do it where we're not all just like dunking our heads in the same you know water so I will figure it out I'm good at figuring things out and planning these um, types of events so we do a lot of I like to do a lot of hosting so we're gonna do that and I'm <clears throat> I went to Hobby Lobby today and I bought some little leaves because I want to make my little homemade um, leaf garland and I have some like burlap string here at the house and I'm just gonna go ahead and hang some leaves and then hang it from pendant to pendant to make the island area look a little bit more festive so um that's um what we're gonna do this afternoon and then i have three bananas that are getting on the right side so i'm gonna make some banana bread and not really making anything for dinner today um saturdays are pretty much my chill days don't really cook but i think we're gonna just get a frozen pizza and travis is gonna go ahead and zhuzh it up and add his little touch to it and that'll be dinner tonight and also when the apple cider is finished and you have all the leftover like um you know meat from the apple and stuff it will not go to waste because i'm gonna make some apple bread with that so again i will find ways to not waste anything in this home so if i don't get to the apple bread tonight i'm gonna freeze it that way i can do it later on in the week but because i'm making banana bread not sure if i'm gonna do the apple bread as well even though we will wind up devouring it so it wouldn't go to waste but like I said, I am starting this video late today and I just wanted to hang out with you guys since I know I didn't post a video last week. So I said we will have a video this week. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my little leaf garland and see 
hopefully that works and I can hang it from each pendant. And if not, then I may just go buy one. I don't know yet, but we'll see how it goes. garland and it turned out cute it's something very simple but here's the final product okay so i'm not gonna hang this just yet on the pendant hold on let me figure this guy out okay here is okay here's the final product you can't tell but they're the leaves that i just tied to the little tip and then this is the vision and I think it'll look and I know you guys probably can't um, but I'm gonna hang them from one end to another and then on each end I'm gonna tie a little ribbon on there so I think it'll be a nice little touch of fall just something hanging from the pendant something simple and again these leaves were like two dollars and I already had this here at the house so I will always find a way to craft up something. So um, it is about 6.30 and, and we're hungry. So we're about to go ahead and take our little frozen pizza and give it a little zhuzhing up. And Travis likes to add a couple spices to it. So I'm gonna show you the pizza we're that we're gonna be making. Look at that. You can tell the apples are getting nice and tender. It smells so good. And let's check on the other one simmering nicely man it smells so good and now here's our frozen pizza and oh and here are the scraps that we're gonna go feed our little fox friends later and then here's our frozen pizza and he's gonna add a couple little things to it just to give it a more I don't know to zhuzh it up. wait what are you gonna do Travis he's getting shy guys <laughs> I know he is. Travis. Where is Where's the Come oven? here. I'm going Wait. I'm going to zhuzh it up. There it is. He talks so much and then the minute that I put the camera on him, he shuts down. He gets all shy and there ain't nothing shy about him. <laughs> okay, so explain what you're gonna add to the pizza. Stuff. No, seriously explain. Onion. Some red onions and what else? Crushed red pepper. And? Uh, pepper cheese. Oh, and, and this. I cannot eat pizza. I red, crushed red pepper. Oh, did you? Oh, I, I didn't sure hear you. Did. Okay, so I cannot eat pizza without crushed red peppers. It is so good. And I love me some red onions. So we are going to just add a couple more layers of yumminess. is baking in the oven the apple cider is simmering away and let me tell you guys I wish you guys were here you could smell my home it smells like heaven it literally smells like apple pie I will definitely do this again just so my home smells so good but we're about to go and give the scraps that from earlier today so we can go ahead and give the fox deer whatever apples to nibble on and we're gonna throw these orange orange peels out there as well so we're gonna go ahead and feed our little furry friends that live on our property.
this little guy is always here meowing away. Aww. And he's definitely an outside cat. I'm not sure whose cat he is, but he always seems to come here. So our pizza got on the toasty side, guys. <laughs> it's a little burnt, but we're going to eat it this way because we're hungry. But I got a little sidetracked and forgot to take it out the oven. But sometimes burnt edges just on a pizza, it tastes so good, that burnt cheese. So, hey, I'm not mad about this situation. Pizza was great. Although we put the red peppers on the pizza and baked it in the oven like that. And I don't know if it's heating those red peppers like activated them because my mouth is burning and I always eat red peppers on pizza, but I never put it on the pizza then in the oven. I always just sprinkle it on top of the pizza after I've taken out. So them red peppers definitely did something because my mouth is on fire, but it's okay. Travis is washing the dishes. Apples are very, very tender. So I'm going to go ahead and smush the apples with my wooden spoon and each pot and then let it simmer a little bit longer and then I'm going to strain it and then eventually put it in a pitcher. So that's what I'm going to do now and then hopefully tonight we can have some nice hot apple cider and it's just it's, it's, it's so yummy and I can't wait to sip on a nice cup of apple cider. So I'm going to go ahead and start smushing the apples and hopefully it'll be done very very soon. pitcher is what we have of apple cider and then over here we have all the leftover apples which I am going to freeze and make some delicious apple bread with it so it will not go to waste and then we have our lovely little pumpkin mugs because Travis and I are about to do a taste test so I hope it turned out really really good Do you taste the cloves in it? Hold on. So the reason that I'm asking if you can taste the cloves, the mm -hmm. recipe, no? I like it. Yeah, definitely good. The reason that I asked them, because the recipe that I used before, 
Oh, we didn't say cheers. Oh, I didn't know we were supposed to. Cheers. <laughs> All right, take another one. Pretend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the reason that I asked them is the recipe that I've used before never asked for clothes. And this recipe asked for clothes, but I did not put anywhere as near as the recipe um, required because I'm really not a fan of that clove flavor you know it's just too potent for me but because I didn't use the full amount I just used very little cider tastes very good guys like I would make this recipe again even with the clothes I just would stick to if you don't like the foot just add a little bit or you don't have to do it at all good I like it. Mm -hmm. yay now I need to get the banana bread out the oven hopefully that one tastes good I've, I've made it before it should be really good so let me get that. This home smells so good between the apple cider, the banana bread. And I, Travis forgot that I bought this candle. He's like, did you add chocolate chips in that banana bread? And I'm like, no. He's like, I smell chocolate. Well, I bought this little candle. It's a hot cocoa scented candle that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And it's the one that I lit up earlier at the beginning of the video. So that does put out like a very chocolate aroma so and silly man thought that i added it in the banana bread so i'm about to pull out the banana bread let it cool we can enjoy that and some more apple cider and we're about to cozy up on the couch guys That the banana bread has been taken out of the oven it is cooling off and i am on my second round of apple cider it is so good i don't now the more i think about it i don't know which recipe i like more this one or the one that i did in previous years but i will link this recipe for sure in my description box i have linked my banana bread recipe many times i'm going to link it again it literally is my go-to recipe. I use the Starbucks copycat recipe for banana bread and pumpkin bread. So I will make sure to link those two in the description box. And I hope you guys make these recipes. It is something about making apple cider, banana bread, pumpkin bread. It's just the aromas that it brings in your home is to die for. But, ooh, also one of my lovely subscribers, um, had asked me if I was going to do Vlogmas this year. And unfortunately, I will not be doing Vlogmas because I am pretty busy. I do work a full-time job and just, you know, managing life and running a household that there, I, there's no way that I would be able to vlog and edit and post a video every single day. But I will tell you that around Christmas, I will be posting probably two to three videos a week. So it won't be every day, but I will be posting more frequently during the month of December. You guys know I love fall. Fall to me is cozy season. It is my favorite season, but Christmas is on a whole nother level. Christmas is my absolute favorite holiday. I just love everything about Christmas and, um, I plan on doing possibly like a little ugly sweater party this year. I did it last year and it was so much fun. And I'll link a couple of videos in my description box of that of the our ugly sweater Christmas um, party last year. I will also link my um, fall fest last year as well. Again, remember guys, I was still trying to learn how to edit and it's not like the best quality videos, but there, I, I'm, you know, I like making these videos. I really do enjoy it. I love creating content for you guys. And more than anything, these are memories that I can always look back on. I am going to sign off because I am tired. It is about almost 9.30 and I did start this video late, but I thoroughly enjoyed filming for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and make some of these fall recipes because you will not regret it. Bye guys. Thank you.